see a laboratory demonstration. These leads are used to apply a very high voltage across this apparatus. The outside of this metal chimney is earthed, while the positive lead from the high voltage unit is clipped to a terminal which connects with a couple of wires passing down the middle. The wires go down here, but you can't see them very clearly at this stage. When we switch on, we'll now have a big potential difference between the wall of the tube and the wires passing down the middle. Across here. Beneath the chimney, there's a hot plate. If we put some ammonium chloride on it, it sublimes off and its white fumes pass up. And out at the top. Now let's switch on the high voltage unit and turn it up so that we're applying about 21,000 volts. The smoke stops. Although it's still passing in at the bottom, turn off the high voltage and the smoke emerges again. This is a model of an electrostatic precipitator which can be used to cut down industrial smoke. Watch it again. The forces produced by the electrostatic charge applied to the central wires cause neutral atoms to lose electrons and become charged ions. These ions are repelled by the positively charged central wire towards the outside wall. But they tend to attach themselves as they do so to the tiny smoke particles and carry these to the outside as you can see. So we've got a very convenient way of preventing smoke particles from getting out into the atmosphere. Electrostatic precipitators are used in many industries. Many electricity generating stations use them, like this huge coal-fired plant at Fiddler's Ferry in northwest England. The tall chimney is just a chimney. It's not itself a precipitator, as we'll see. Powdered coal is burned in the furnaces to produce heat to make steam for the turbo generators. We'll explore some modern power stations in another of these films, but just now, Let's concentrate on what comes out of the furnaces. Heavy ash falls to the bottom. The finer ash and smoke particles are carried up through flues. And if it were allowed to escape into the air, this would cause great pollution. Big precipitators are used to prevent this. You can see the great tube taking furnace gases to a precipitator, which is like an enormous square box, inside which the waste gases pass between electrically charged plates, which collect the smoke particles. Automatic mallets strike these plates, causing the powder to fall off into a container at the bottom. The cleaned gases then pass along to the chimney stack and are discharged into the atmosphere. There's a long line of precipitators, as you can see, dealing with all the power station's furnaces. 